let's look at the quote. We have that quote ready. Let's have a look at what he said after the game. He's saying, Patirana was the difference. Uh, they were smart with their plans and their approach. Uh, they got the hang of it. There's a man behind the stumps who tells them what's working. That helps. Uh, it was holding up a bit and getting difficult. It was about batting well and keeping the intent. Okay, a lot of it is just words that captains have to say and Gilly, you'll know that. Eh? It's, yeah. it's tough to talk after you lose a game, right? That's probably the toughest bit to do. That little chat with the commentators after you lose the game. <laughs> oh, it's a horrible interview ever. <laughs> it's, it's even worse having to do the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know <laughs> yeah. they don't want to be talking to you, the yeah. captains. But that's interesting, that, that line about Donny. Yeah. That tells me that he's feeling maybe he's a little bit of a lone wolf at the moment. Maybe it's all having a bit of an effect that maybe he isn't feeling, Hardik Pandey is not feeling like he's got support around him. Whereas his observation is of the opposition is, uh, he's not crediting the captain there. That's good insight. Really? Guy quad. He's, yeah. he's saying, hang on, he's got support down the back there, the experience of this. But yeah, no, that's, um, that tells me a bit mm. about the mindset of Hardik at the moment. And the, uh, the uncertainty uh, yeah. And the hesitation, if you like, within the Mumbai Indians as a as an overall package. I I don't know. I mean, uh, that's a great insight, mm. right? That's a great insight. Yeah. Reading between reading between the lines, and this is the thing, right? Like we've seen captaincy transitions before, and and we knew that there'd be hiccups when this happens, right? We predicted it, and, and yeah. you didn't have to be very smart to predict <laughs> it, right? It was basically common sense. But I genuinely thought that in two or three games, four games, a couple of wins, they had two resounding wins. You'd think mm. that it would settle down, but I, this is not looking like it's... I don't know, does it feel like that? Because if what Gilly is saying mm. is, is, is even 50% true, yeah. then uh, that's, that's not good for a team. That's not a team then. No, it's not. And it, it's, it's always been a team that sort of... Um, it, it's looked quite calm and settled. Yeah. You know, in, in the last few years, it's just looked pretty calm, pretty settled. Even in bad times, they've found a way to win some games. If they've had a bad season, they've generally put it behind them. You don't win five titles without being a very good team mm. and having a great setup and a great environment. And when that changes, so many things change with it. Um, you know, the, the, the team talks are completely different. Uh, the new guy's probably trying to stamp his mark. He's probably trying to do things differently because he's been there before. He's, he, he knows what's happened in the past. Yeah. So he's probably trying to bring a different mindset to it. And if there's fractions, if there's some parts of the team that aren't really grasping onto what he wants them to do or aren't really grasping onto the, the setup that he wants to run, it can be very, very difficult. And yeah. you've still got the former, in both cases tonight, you've still got the former captain yeah. there. One may be a little disgruntled. The other one just, you know, just wants to help a young man out. Yeah, there so you go. That, that may be the slight bit of difference I've as seen well. even with Indian cricket, Dooley, just to add to that, we've seen captaincy transitions. You've seen captaincy yeah. transitions a lot before, mm. right? Dhoni was captaining when there were four former captains with him, right? Virat yeah. was captaining with Dhoni as yes. captain. Rohit is captain with Virat in the team, right? And it all seems to just worked out okay. Why is this transition not working? I mean, have, you've been part of transitions before as well. They, what's the secret to make them work? I'm thinking, I'm thinking European football. I'm thinking, you know, that we talk about El Galactico, the big game, and mm, what yeah. we, we know where the foundations of that come, or the origins of that matchup come. Think of those world-class, uh, highest-profile sporting teams. Yeah, your uh, Real Madrids, uh, even, even yeah, Barcelona, Man United in the EPL. Yeah, um, the New York Yankees over there in the baseball. Because of the success, that can then mean that you become a victim of that success. The expectation, both from within, from owners, mm. and then the outside noise, and particularly your fans. Yeah. So your fans get hunger and they, they have this level of expectation. And then when it's not met, they start to look for reasoning and for blame. I think it's, it's something like that. And, and, and why I talk about that English football, European football, I talk about pinching players or, or trades, yeah. trades that come out of the blue that no one knew about. Yeah. And fans go, hey, whoa, 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 hang on. We are invested in this. We are part of this big picture. Mm. And they can feel like they've been blindsided. You yeah. know, the way, the way yeah. this came out of nowhere and uh, this transition from getting Hardik back and, yeah. and so on, mm. um, was Rowett happy or can considered uh, in uh, discussion about it. who knows but um, yeah I think that's probably that's probably why the vitriol's coming 
I think because that's a, I feel a little bit deceived. I yeah. think that's a great point because the problem then is not the transition. The problem is actually the transfer because all the other transitions we've seen have actually been a person from in the team. Now, this transfer in itself is shocking because while there have been a lot of transfers, it's a young league, 16 years, but while a lot of transfers have happened in this league before, they've kind of been on the lower end of the spectrum of yeah. players that have been from the bench, not yeah. really been used. Mm. When you get a captain, this is the first time that's happened. It'll mm. probably be the first of many that will happen in the future, yeah. but the first guy through the wall is always gets his nose the bloodiest. Uh, yeah. yeah, and and uh, such high profile yeah. person, Hardik Pandya, and also, too, part of that trade saw Cameron Green, who didn't have the greatest IPL last year. No. He certainly did a couple of things right and scored yeah. a, a hundred. I think yeah. he got a hundred. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So there was. I think the crowd were investing in him. The supporters. Okay. Well, this is his shooting star of Australian cricket. Okay, he's one of us. Yeah. We'll see him nurtured under Rowett, and so there's a lot at play. So I think that's probably this feeling of deception and, and frustration of being out of the loop. That's why it's coming back towards them at the moment. Doesn't mean they're gone. Yeah. They've know how to fight. Yeah. They, That's true. They've shown that. 